Isfahan Handicrafts. From all around Iran to the center of handicrafts, Isfahan, craftspeople perform in 167 specific art professions, including carpet weaving, inlaid working, wood carving, traditional embroidery, marquetry, and all other kinds. At least 9,000 craft workshops are situated in Isfahan. The majority of these workshops are located in the Naks-e-Jahan Square, which was inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1979. Stay tuned to watch with us Isfahan Handicrafts. Katam, Persian marquetry. A delicate form of Persian marquetry, katam is the technique of ornamenting the surface of wood products with very fine veneers of thin wood, metal and bone rods joined together forming geometric patterns. From decorating the wooden doors of palaces and mosques to decorative boxes and vases, katam is one of the major Isfahan handicrafts. Turquoise fixing. Turquoise fixing is an art that creates a layer of turquoise little cut stones on the body of metal objects, making and preparing valuable decorative products. At the present time, it's done only in Isfahan. The underlying layer is made by the artist based on the design of the turquoise part so that the surrounding of the part where the turquoise is to be struck is embossed for two or three millimeters. The small pebbles of turquoise stone are first purchased from the mines which are situated in Mashhad, Damgan and Neshabor then classified as per their size and their wastage is separated. From this stage, the uniform beads of turquoise are arranged and stuck next to each other on the body of the object so that the least distance remains among them. For this purpose, the metal surface is heated up to 30 degrees and a special powder, lacquer, is sprayed on it and is heated again so that the melted lacquer covers the entire surface of the object. Now the body of the object is heated again and the turquoise stones are placed on the melted lacquer. Then again a layer of lacquer is melted on the surface to cover the remaining pores. Finally, the finished operation is done twice during which the extra and unwanted tiny turquoise stones are removed. The turquoise studded part is polished with olive oil or sesame oil so that this part becomes as vivid and brilliant as the other parts. Technically, the uniformity of the turquoise stones is very important. The sky blue colour of the turquoise and being pale with a lack of greenish hue cotton cloth. Production of colourful designs and printing on the cloth by moles has apparently been created in the 4th century AD in India and from there travelled to Alexandria. Printing on the cloth was evolved in Iran during the Sassanid dynasty and new techniques were initiated in the decoration of woolen and cotton clothes. This art has extended generally in Isfahan during the Safavid period. The calico worker is also locally called Chitsas because in the Persian language the word Chit means printed cloth.
enameling. Enameling is an art based on painting and decoration of the surface of metal bodies and sometimes ceramic objects covered by a coat called enamel. In fact, the enamel is clear glazing and glass obtained from merging glass glaze and metal oxides. Having baked in a kiln, it becomes hard like glass. Enameling is done on the copper and brass bodies. Of course, in order to make jewellery and decorative objects, in addition to copper, gold and silver are used too. The climax of the enamel art has been in the Seljuk period. Then, during the Safavid period in Esfahan, this art is mixed with paintings of the court feast and the hunting games, displaying a new manifestation. Enamel workers present their works in two styles, paintings and squaring, but whatever is done in Esfahan, it's in the painting style. Miniature. Miniature, or Iranian traditional painting, is an artistic process during which a design is created on painting canvas by a paintbrush smeared with colour. In fact, the miniature is a public concept and includes different methods and styles of Iranian painting, whether painting in books and manuscripts, or on the wall and door of constructions and other painting canvases. To perform it, the artist, after preparing the surface of the work, which is very important, paints on the canvas with paint brushes of different sizes, then colours it with watercolour. The best paint brushes are made of cat, squirrel and sable fur, which is flexible while it does not curl. After being coloured, the painting is polished and details are completed. In the best mode of his work, the miniaturist depicts whatever he has imagined. He creates a scene, while employing physical objects, expresses material relations in another way. Making traditional instruments. The construction of traditional instruments is one of the artworks done by craftspeople. This art alone has a wide range of subcategories, each with its elegance and complexity. The art of making instruments has spontaneously survived by the artist for many years, and there is little information in the historical review of this art, except in the Qajar era. Probably at this time, most of the musicians made their own musical instruments. The Iranian instruments can usually be made of walnut wood, mulberry, service tree and so on. But the best and most reliable wood to make tar, setar, dotar and tambour are made of mulberry wood, which has different types, black mulberry, chatut, white mulberry and narak blackberry. However, the best one is blackberries, which are very rare and is difficult to find them in high quality. One of the reasons for selecting this wood is its capability to provide optimal sound beauty and resistance to pets. Terme weaving. Handwoven terme, a production of which became trendy in Iran, at the beginning of the Safavid era, is a soft and elegant cloth which is made of different threads, materially such as silk wool and fluff. It's often decorated with original and traditional Iranian patterns, especially the paisley pattern. They are hand weaved by use of a four-way foundation. The weft threads of terme cloth are very dense and they are left free on the back of the terme cloth. One thing that can be said about this elegant cloth is that the artistic style, taste 
and Iranian innovation in the material and the visionary patterns used for weaving this cloth are rare and unique throughout the world. Wall painting. Wall paintings of Islamic architecture include geometric and non-geometric patterns which should be done considering the purpose of the structure and the condition of the environment. The above mentioned wall paintings consist of two general categories wall painting for religious buildings, mosques, schools, harems, etc., and wall painting for non religious buildings, palaces, bazaars, homes, public baths, etc. Various examples of these paintings can be seen on mansions and enormous palaces. The wall paintings on Isfahan's Chehel Sotan walls are a great example of decoration related to architecture. In truth, wall painting is part of visual arts which is done in extensive dimensions and has its own specific infrastructure.